going on everybody back with another video this one um, I'll be installing engine bay lights and uh, on the hood scoop and possibly right here in front of the grill I ordered these lights off of Amazon the ordinary lights they're actually lights for the interior under the footwells they ran about 10 to 15 bucks I believe I know they have the ones that are actually for the engine bay, but I decided to give this a shot because I've seen somebody did this to their car. So the lights itself, they're not as big. You see it comes with this kind of power source on the inside where you connect. And it comes with the Bluetooth controller app thing that works with the app. And these are the actual LEDs. They're about a foot, 10 to a, 10 inches to a foot long. You know perfect size because i don't really want to do the whole engine bay light i guess most mostly be focusing on the hood scoop and up in the front and if other two i'll probably put back there but don't mind the leaves in the engine bay I haven't had time to clean this and it's currently raining out here right now but yeah we're gonna try and install these and see how it works or see if it ends up working the way i want it to and uh yeah I hope you guys like it, enjoy it, and if you have any questions, let me know, but let's get to it. Bruh. All right, so it's like clearly dark now, but uh, that's basically what it looks like now. I got two up there and I got two down here. And it doesn't look too bad. Let me shut the hood, see how everything looks. So it looks 
like. Here's a video of how it looks like with the hood pop. It's actually quite nice because you can see the whole engine bay. I know a lot of people put their lights around here, down in this area, up there on the sides, but this actually looks pretty good too. You can see the whole engine bay. All right, guys, I know yesterday it was pretty dark, but wanted to show you guys how it looked like with everything hooked up. Like I was saying, put two of the LED strips up here. You can see the wires, they're behind that cover right there. Got two up there. And then down here, I got two at the bottom, which is like under this piece, under there. Um, I ran the cables under this, so I just popped all of these out, kind of flipped it up and ran the wire up to here. There's no wire hanging here. So we got that wire comes up to here. Here's the little um, Bluetooth box. I zip tied it, I mean, it's on there secure. It's not gonna fall or anything. These are the two wires that go up there. Then they come up here, I zip tied it. If you come up here, there's two more that I run back here. Zip tied it as well right there. And then they're right there. They're not in the way of anything, so they, they go up there. That's pretty much it. Can't see the lights right now because I mean it's daylight, but at night is when you'll be able to see them. That's pretty much it. I mean, worked out good the way I wanted it to. You know, I got no issues, and uh, I'll try and take some pictures at night, show y'all what it looks like, or I'll put one at the end of this video that way you guys can see what it's looking like. But that's pretty much it for this install. Thanks again for watching. And uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, like I said, make sure to uh, drop a comment or message me on Instagram. And until next time, peace.